Welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. My friends, looking forward to this. We all want to retire. Yeah, we really do. But there are so many questions that come with that looming goal of retirement, including the biggest question of all of them, right? How much money do I really need to comfortably retire? That's what our next guest is answering for us this morning, among other things. I want you to welcome to the show Aaron Lapidus of JBL Financial Services to the show. Aaron, very nice to have you here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm First really excited. First time on Great Day, right? First time on TV. Well, what? Oh, my gosh. Her television debut. That's You're going to be right. able to say that we knew you when, when you become a big mega. I won't forget you. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> so we're going to run down a list of the three top questions that you often hear from clients. And let's just start with the big Bertha. Do I have enough to retire? How do you answer that question? It's a great question that's different for everyone. Mm -hmm. However, I thought we could spend this time this morning giving everyone the tools they need to determine how much they're going to need Perfect. to retire. And we host a Saturday morning radio show on KTRS from 9 to 11, and we talk about these things all the time. We like to use examples, so I thought what a great opportunity to use an example with all of your viewers this morning. Let's do it. Yeah. So instead of thinking about how much I need to retire, mm -hmm. because most people think more is always better when we're saving for retirement, except for more is not really a goal. So let's really put some numbers behind where we want to go. And I think that takes a lot of the fear out of planning for retirement and also creates a little excitement because you have something to work towards. Sure. So let's start with the easiest number. Everyone knows this. How much are you bringing home every month in your take home pay? Okay. So that's net. What's dropped into your bank account right. after taxes are withheld, after you've paid your health insurance. Let's just say you're spending five, you're bringing home $5,000 a month. Okay. So what we want to do in retirement is we know we're going to have to incorporate taxes. Right. So let's increase that by ta for your tax rate. I'm going to use 20%. And if you're at home, you want to do this math yourself as well. Take that 5000 or whatever your take home pay is, mm -hmm. increase it by 1.2%. That's 20% for taxes. That'll give us $6,000 in this example. Okay. Now, the number that most people forget to subtract is what are your fixed income that will be coming in in retirement? For Things most like Social Security. Exactly. Uh, 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 IRAs or 401ks or whatever the case. Yeah, really your fixed income would be Social Security. If you have pension, maybe you have rental income because you have some rental properties. Whatever you know for sure will be coming in. Okay. So let's just say we're going to take 4000 off of that 6000 number. So we started with six. That's our gross income need in mm -hmm. retirement. Mm -hmm. We're going to take 4000 away for your fixed income, let's say that's Social Security. Right. That leaves us a deficit of 2000 a month. Okay. That's what you'll be responsible for making up once you stop working. So 2000 times 12, that's an annualized number. That'll be $24,000 a year. If I multiply that by 25, that gives us 600,000. So in this example, if you're spending 5,000, if you're bringing home 5,000 a month, mm. that means you're probably spending about five. Right. Most people spend what they bring yes. in. Yeah. We want to reincorporate taxes for that by 20%. That gave us six. We subtract out our fixed income expenses, our fixed income number rather, social security, pension. We get our deficit, multiply that by 12. Right. Increase it by 25, by 25, and you or multiply it by 25, and that's your number. So what this proves to me is this adage that we've all lived by for a long time, that you need to have a million in the bank, is not necessarily true. It is not. Maybe not even close. That's exactly right. And yeah. I think that cuts both ways. For some people, it's not necessarily true because we don't need nearly a million. But for mm -hmm. other people, if you're spending significantly more, more sure. it could be more. How can JBL Financial Services help out our viewers in retirement? How can they reach out to you guys? So... Super simple. You can go to our website, jblfinancial.com. Mm -hmm. Click on the upper right-hand corner. There's a Contact Us button. You can okay. reach out to us for a coaching session. We'd love to sit down and chat with you if you're within five years of retirement, getting ready to retire, or you're already retired. Uh, the other thing that you can do is listen to our show on Saturday mornings. Yeah. We talk about not only this topic, our magic number in retirement is what we like to call it, how much you need to save to get to a comfortable retirement, but a whole host of other important topics that you'll want to consider in retirement, health care, sure. other expenses. Uh, it's a very holistic like approach you have to take. That's yeah. exactly Thank right. Thank you, Aaron. Great to meet you. It was so nice to be I here. I listen to the show, by the way. I'm a fan. You can get in contact with JBL Financial by phone at 314-863-0008 or find them on the web. The website is jblfinancial.com.